So I normally don't do off-camera videos here on the channel, but today's will be a little bit different because I had some unexpected things pop up, but I still want to share a really big talking point and discussion with you guys that has come up over the weekend, which is the fact that Doug Bowser has officially commented on Nintendo being aware of the N64 emulation complaints from fans, and I want to discuss with you guys whether or not I think we can actually expect Nintendo to take this feedback seriously and push out some updates, and when we might see updates potentially come to Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack. What's up, Nation? If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you join Sumbro Nation by subscribing below. Hit the like button on this video if you enjoy it today, and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. Now, as I mentioned, guys, we're only going to be talking about one story today, and it is because it is a big deal in my eyes, as I was somebody who was extremely hyped for this Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack to drop, and while some of the games are fully enjoyable and playable without really any noticeable problems, there are others, namely like Ocarina of time who really had noticeable visual downgrades when it comes to things like reflections and shadows and draw distances and things like that and then you also had some noticeable performance issues such as input lag and I can tell you as somebody who has played and replayed this game over the years on essentially every time Nintendo's actually re-released it such as the GameCube on the collection bonus disc and then we had the Wii virtual console Wii U virtual console for me I did notice this input lag when I first booted up and played the game and while I do think you can get past it it's something that you shouldn't have to get past when Nintendo is asking us for a $50 annual price point to play these classic titles as part of Nintendo Switch online service and I absolutely firmly believe that they do need to do some more work to the emulation technology overall and get these games just ultimately running more smoothly and where I want to start off this conversation is by hopping over to VGC where they have exactly transcribed what Doug Bowser has said and kind of some of the outlying complaints that have been out there so long that have actually caused Nintendo to go on record and respond. So let's quickly read through the article together so we're on the same page with all the information that's out there. Nintendo says it's taking criticism of Switch's N64 emulation very seriously. Doug Bowser claims the company is looking at ways to improve the Switch online games. Speaking to The Verge in a new interview, Nintendo of America boss Doug Bowser said the company was aware of feedback to N64's Switch performance and suggested it could make improvements. He's quoted here saying, We're constantly looking for ways to make our online features and those games better and continuing to add value through more services and more games as we go forward, he said. We take the feedback very seriously and we're continuing to look at ways to improve the overall performance. For us, it's about quality and great content at a great value. Switch's online expansion pack tier launched last month and was met with frustration from some players, not only due to its pricing, but also the emulation issues and lack of features, including button mapping. In just two weeks, the trailer for Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack became Nintendo's most disliked video ever on its official YouTube channel. Some games have been reported to have noticeable audio delay, meaning the sound is heard a split second after the action, while others have graphical issues such as Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time's inability to properly handle fog. Another issue receiving complaints is the app's apparent lack of support for the controller pack, the N64's memory card. This was placed in the slot at the back of the controller so the players could save game data in titles that didn't save directly to the cartridge. Others have been complaining about occasional extreme lag when playing online with other players. Some videos on social media have been showing players trying to compete online against their friends at Mario Kart 64 but suffering extreme stutter and messages about poor connection. Switch's N64 library is set to receive more than 20 additional titles in the future if a recent data mine of the platform is to be believed. That's according to analysis by Twitter user Mondo Mega, who has worked out using the launch game's database IDs that there are at least 38 games that are planned in total for the service. That represents 17 more N64 titles than were released for both the Wii and Wii U's virtual console service. So to start off, I really do want to make it clear that obviously Doug Bowser does not have the most power over Nintendo as he is Nintendo of America and he's not really President Shintaro Furukawa who really makes probably most of the bigger decisions in the company as Nintendo is a Japan-based company. But of course, Nintendo of America does handle all of the communication and really PR for this region. And so while it is just really like a blanket PR statement that he said, Says there that we're constantly looking at feedback and trying to make improvements to the service it is good that he specifically noted in my book that they are taking the feedback around n64 emulation performance issues and actually said that in a statement just for the simple fact that nintendo has a ridiculous track record of just acting like nothing has ever happened and with terrible feedback that they receive
leave they just keep trucking along and never even really acknowledge it similar to how we've actually had him comment on joy con drift also is when we could never get an official answer from nintendo around joy con drift and now all of a sudden they finally come out and said like hey we've actually been working on the analogs over the years and on the newest versions of the switch oled and the switches that are being sold today you now have an updated analog that's supposed to not have joy con drift so whether or not we see that same kind of treatment for n64 online expansion pack remains to be seen but just the fact that it is coming up in these news press pr briefings and things like that and we have official quotes from nintendo stating that they're aware is at least somewhat reassuring to me as you know i am a fan of this service i'm not a fan of the price point for what they're offering right now they've been very inconsistent with their update schedule on when they'll bring new games to the service in the past that we've seen with the nes and snes and the interesting decision that they decided to go with this time is that you don't have a monthly option to kind of give it a chance and see how they update for maybe one or three months you actually have to purchase the entire year up front for the 49.99 asking price and then you have to wait and see when nintendo will update the games and that's another talking point because you know obviously they need to fix the emulation issues first and i do hope we get some kind of update before we continue to release games but then we still know that there are other games coming down the pipeline but we have no clue when i'm very much hoping that they get this whole fog thing figured out with ocarina of time before majora's mask hits the service because if you guys think about some of the environments that are rendered in majora's mask that fog and that kind of dark eerie atmosphere is in so many different areas of that game and i would hate to see it all removed and just have everything crystal clear like it will look and feel off and if there's that noticeable input delay and things and problems that they're still having it's going to be a drag to play through majora's mask for the first time again for me in many years with noticing some of those really big performance issues so while we don't have a ton to go off of just with this doug bowser statement i do at least think it's a step in the right direction for nintendo to hopefully acknowledge and give us some kind of solution here for first the emulation problem and then what i really want to see them do is actually stick to a consistent update schedule as far as when they have the games come out because you know if you guys think about it we're going to be quickly approaching a full month since launch of this service and i will be curious to see are we going to get one new n64 game or are we going to get no n64 games like maybe for the rest of the year and then next year they start to stick to more of a schedule like is this going to be an inconsistent random you guess when they get the updates type of deal or is this going to be something where you can essentially take to the bank that three new n64 games are getting added every month or maybe two i think maybe one to two is actually more realistic and then we get something like two to three genesis games but that's another question i want to pose to you guys is what do you think is a fair number of new titles to come out like if we know that this thing potentially has at least 38 titles slotted right now what when would you guys like to see these released and obviously they're not going to drop them all at the same time but what kind of update schedule do you feel like is fair because for me personally i would like to see at least two to three n64 games added per month and i do think three is a stretch but i definitely think nintendo could deliver two as opposed to just one at a time because we are really going to drag out these titles if they're only going to do one a month and it'll also be interesting to see if they go up certain months and release more and then down certain months and hopefully we don't get into this quarterly update thing like we started to see with the nes and snes library of games as time went on and then that's a whole nother talking point is will we even continue to get any more support for nes or snes i believe there was somewhere in an investor meeting that nintendo did say they would still support those consoles but obviously it's been since i believe july that we got the last update for those games so at this point in the video guys i really want to hear from you all on what you think nintendo will do to course correct this really bad fan reaction around nintendo switch online expansion pack or if you're maybe somebody who is on the other side of the fence and you've been having a great time with all these n64 titles and don't really understand why people are so frustrated with everything share with me your thought process as well as i like to hear from both sides of the audience i am definitely holding out hope myself that nintendo will address and update some of these performance issues because they are noticeable to me as somebody who's been playing ocarina of time practically my whole life this is not the best way to play it and i really want nintendo to go put in that extra work to the core emulator to make it the best way to play ocarina of time outside of obviously like the 3ds remaster because i think we can all agree that that's probably the definitive way to play ocarina of time right now but hopefully we get that ported to the switch one day in the future but in the meantime we have this as the rom so again guys share all your thoughts and opinions on these doug bowser comments and whether or not you really think that nintendo will make any meaningful updates to this nintendo switch online expansion pack in the foreseeable future and what they have to do to make it worth it to you in your eyes to make this a 50 dollar service such as maybe we can get some voice chat or party chat or just party invites to games and things so please share all your thoughts and opinions on everything nintendo switch online in the comments down below before you leave the video as i do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around this topic
Thanks so much for watching the video today, everyone. I do truly appreciate you all sticking around until the end. I do at this point in the video want to invite you all one more time to join Sembro Nation if you haven't done so already. Do so by subscribing below. Hit the like button on your way out if you enjoyed it today. And make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. That's going to do it for me, guys. I hope you all have a great day. Sembro Nation, out.